And welcome in this Star Valor video here. We're going to discuss some of the advanced RNG farming tactics you can use in this game. So uh, let's go over here and get started right here. So uh, these are pretty simple. You pretty much know about all the RNG stuff that's in this game. And when you load into a system like this, the space stations are going to be what they are going to be. And the jump gates are going to be where they're going to be. Uh, but they can be randomized in their locations. But yeah, everything else in here is going to be randomized before your first warp in. Uh, but so you can randomize the stations like that. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Uh, you can, uh, if there's going to be distress signals in this area and if you can save it before you come to you come to your base you save it and there's going to say there's going to be a distress signal down there that distress signal is going to be the same once you've loaded into the map the whole map is going to be generated beforehand but once you're inside the map that distress signal is going to be stable and it's going to be generated once that is activated so if there was one activated here for an example like i showed you in the other video and once it's activated then the uh then the event is generated then only matters if it's going to be a ship like if it's going to be a ship it's going to be an, a random ship once it's activated once that distress signal pops up it's no longer going to be randomized but everything else is for escape pods and stuff like that so any escape pod you pick up in this game the pilot the guy that you're going to get inside is going to be randomized at any time so you don't have to worry about that one there only thing you have to worry about is the ships if you're farming for you know big ships to sell off or collect for your collection of other factions you don't have that faction ship you want to get it you can just keep farming and reloading it that way but that's not the advanced stuff that we're going to be talking about mainly I just wanted to make sure you know all the basic stuff like that and of course then that means you probably know about you know the Ravenger bosses uh, once you go into the zone that's when the Ravenger boss is generated and there are different types uh, like that so there are healing ones and there's guys that only have missiles and ammo does run out if you're really weak and you want to kill the bigger bosses and you want to be funny and you're patient you can just fly around and let them run out run of ammo and then go out and save it somewhere and then come back and kill them. Now you can kill those Ravenger bosses over and over again and then reload the game, you know, and then farm for their loot and then eventually you might get something legendary that you really like. But here is the other taxes you use. Um, you don't have to be allied. I mean, uh, make enemies of everybody at the start if you didn't know. So once you get past that 3k mark, you get the quest pops up and then you can say no. You don't have to say yes to the guy. You can just say no. And if your rep goes below that point and goes back up again, they ask you again if you want to join them. So don't worry about saying saying no. You can always, you know, uh, go kill some of them and then go back and get some rep again and play them. And of course, you could do the Marauder thing there to uh, erase all of your bad reputation with the pirates and get some good rep with them. And then once that wears off, you can uh, try and balance your do a balancing act to get them. And I recommend doing that uh, if you really want to, if you're really serious about decking out your ships and all legendary gear so you can get the uh, quests in this game that are hunting pirates and hunting the other factions guys like pest control and human termination so you can do both because these are like the easiest ways to farm them versus uh farming you know random warp ins and killing guys you know repeatedly and waiting and, and all that kind of stuff this is like a one-to-one -one ratio type deal for killing and uh you can you just feel free I, i'm doing it right now you can go there and kill the human guys or kill the other guys and your rep goes back up and down either way and then it balances out it doesn't matter uh, but you can farm them that way and then you kill them and you reload it once you if you don't like the loot and the other thing here is you can tag it up so i got this one here uh lined up so once you warp into the zone the guys are going to be flying around everywhere on the map and there's a guy right there and what you do is you just tag them wherever they are, you run them to the middle of the map, and then you warp out. And they'll be there in the middle of the map like this guy was. Like I could have, should have tagged them and got into the fight right away. And then, of course, when you first ran, uh, warp into the zone, when, they, when there's a guy there, uh, the size and stuff will change. So I just happen to have a small one there. I don't really care about changing it type of a deal. But if it's too big for you, you can uh, reload it until you get a small one, then tag them to the middle. And the small, that's why I don't like the small guy here. My main weapon's too big to miss to hit him <laughs> there we go and then this whole loop right here is randomized i want this one right here but i want it a legendary or the larger one legendary that's what i'm farming for this isn't what i wanted and i can reload the game and then try again so i can just you know hit the reload button hit the f9 i come into here go to there and then warp back in and the guy i want to kill is already lined up so this will help me this will save me a lot of time on the farming aspect of this game Let's see point blank shot no he moved too fast yeah that's the thing when you charge weapons they take too long to uh, turn there we go we got a capital impulse drive yay uh mark four but uh yeah we don't really need that one but it is nice actually i could use that one that one <laughs> it's a little bit better than the uh, uh 
the, uh, this one here. Well, yeah, it is. It is a little bit better. So maybe I'm going to keep that one, right? Because this one has the, uh, it's almost the same max speed as my Pirate Impulse Drive, but it has all that acceleration power. So yeah, let's keep that one right there. So I got something I'm going to keep. Oh, and you drop some added mine time armor. So I got a double tap on there. So you can always farm for the drops on the guys that way too. And since, you know, I'm just, I'm actually playing through it and that's what I actually wanted. I'm going to keep that and <laughs> just go over to the space station here and save it and show you the next thing that's going to be part of the RNG that things advanced RNG farming that you might not know. Of course, you do know that you're going to get the random uh, distress signals and events and stuff like that in this game. Uh, but uh, what you can do is make sure you're tagging, getting all those quests from these space stations to go and eliminate pirates or whatever what they say that you're going to do, like press control or whatever. And then you're going to tag new systems for you, right? This one's spotted. I got a quest over here. Now, this one, nothing, this one hasn't been generated yet. Only thing that's going to be in here is what the space stations are in the jump gates, right? But the stress strings are going to be random. So they are all going to be random and it just popped off automatically. So we have a ship down there and we have the guy down there. So we have a ship popped up in here and there it is right there. The Ruka detected and we didn't get that pause menu. I was trying to go in there and try and display a new, but this is what it is. So we can just leave this here and, uh, and reload it because that Ruka ship is pretty weak. We don't like it. Let's come back and reload the game and warp in there and not touch anything this time. There we go. This is what's supposed to happen. It's supposed to stop and freeze the screen for you and have the quest pop up. Uh, I might have clicked the button too fast or, some, or touched something. But yeah, it shows you everything on the outside of the map. Every time you warp into the system, it will show you all these things. And if you have a pause key in the game that can do this, all the items on the outside will uh, will be uh, shown for you. So there's a quest right there and the, the guy is right there. Um, did I get a distress signal? Uh, no, it doesn't say distress signal right there. So that's not a distress signal, that's just where the guy is. But if there is a ship on here, there will be a, a ship icon and it'll be over like there. So if that little box right there where that random loot is going to be, it could be a ship over there or if a distress signal is nearby. This isn't the perfect example because this is a bigger, this is a bigger system, right? So if it's a smaller system, like those little junk ones, it's a lot easier to do. And because uh, all the distress signals and stuff like that will be in there located in the thing. And they could be anything. They could be just, you know, random escape pods that popped up. They count as one in debris fields. And there's a ship. It's the Ruka again. So, yeah, it is random. It's a different location. And, you know, that ship uh, sucks again. But that's what we got. And you can get the idea. We reload it, and I'll show you again. And that, that's just funny getting the same ship twice in a row. But that happens a lot on this thing. There we go. Here we go again. He's over there. And we got a ship over there this time, right? See that ship symbol over there? So let's go over there and explore that. Let's see what that is there. And then guys over there. And there's nothing else that we can see at the moment. But we know there's something over there. So let's uh, slowly turn over there and go check out what that ship is that we have randomly in this system now. And you can do the same thing with the stress signals if you want. There we go. Now the ship popped up. We got a distress signal. Oh, it's a VGA-4A. Well, that's pretty nice. That's worth quite a bit. Class 4 VGA ship. Um, yeah, I got enough money to cover it, but still, it's still a nice find. See, that's still a nice find. I don't think I'll fit on my... I don't think I can have enough room. No, I don't have enough room. Let's grab it. But yeah, even with this, yeah, it's pretty heavy. I don't have enough room, but uh, I don't even have a warp thing in here, do I? Well, who owns this zone? Nobody owns it. So there might be a civilization base in there and I can drag it over there or come back later if, if I wanted to keep this, which I might. Get over here, stupid. Need, I need more warp stuff. I didn't really care about it too much. But yeah, that's a that's a nice little bonus right there, VGA4. Those those are those are nice little ships to have. Uh, but yeah, that's just a randomness of what you can find in, in this game like this. That's how you farm the random RNG stuff. So that is it. Uh, I think that covers the basics, and you get the idea of how to do the uh, uh, farming for the RNG stuff if that's what you're interested in when you're trying to get a ship and you're trying to farm up all the legendary, you know, awesome gear that you might be able to get, like you know the awesome tear armor and that kind of stuff and some other things like a tractor B legendary who cares about that but you know I wanted to keep it anyways but yeah that's it thanks for watching and I'll see you next time